Hey, one of the people. This is Laura, and uh, I run Elements Marketing. And the main question I'm being asked these days is, okay, so I don't have a budget. I would like to generate leads on social media. I don't want to invest in Facebook ads, which she pretty much she don't be doing anyway. So what can I do? So it doesn't matter what type of business you've got or um, what type of clients you want to get. You can get them on social media, the easy way or the hard way. Now I know for sure that you're not interested in the hard way uh, and that's actually something that loads of people are teaching you. Uh, the hard way, the hustle, uh, going on groups, sharing things, connecting with 10,000 people, uh, automating your messaging, especially on LinkedIn, and then getting your account banned. If you're interested in that one, I think you should be just uh, listening to those people because that's not what this training is about. As this is a free training, um, just to offer some help to people, I'm going to appreciate your feedback. So any comments below will be appreciated and it will help me create an amazing training portal that I'm working on behind the scenes. So in the past two months, we built a couple of marketing campaigns, about a dozen, and we built half a dozen funnels that are working absolutely fine. But that's not enough for me, so I would like to have people who actually don't have a couple of grand to invest in their funnel, but they are serious about growing their business, and that's the reason I set up this training channel, and that's the reason I'm going to create a no-nonsense uh, guide for social media marketing, for building a website, landing pages, writing your headlines, everything digital marketing that's going to help you succeed even if you've got a digital, uh, you don't have a digital background and you don't have a budget either. So you shouldn't feel disadvantaged uh, because you don't have it. And uh, the, why am I doing it? So yeah, I could, I could charge thousands of pounds for, to do, for doing the job. So why am I giving away all the information, you might be asking. And the reason is that I, I can only get to a couple of clients at, and at Elements Marketing, especially we are oversubscribed, so we don't have enough capacity to work on more than two funnels at a time. And uh, it is yeah, I could, I could be training people and I am training people. I love working with young people, building them up from scratch. But at the end of the day, I realized a couple of months ago that it's better if you take it slow and you don't trust people with too many things. So that's the reason I would like to give back to the community and those who are possibly waiting uh, for our services and those who just simply can't afford uh, marketing agencies because there are loads of businesses out there until the funding is available uh, because there will be funding for marketing and investing in your digital assets uh, sooner or later. I would like to help you, just offer you a little bit of help on how to get on, how to improve your visibility, how to get those fans who will eventually become uh, raving fans and shout about your business everywhere. So, and where do you find them? On social media, of course. You can't go out networking, you can't be spamming people because it's illegal and it's not the right way to go about business. So I would recommend that you focus on your lead generation on social media, especially if you've got digital, uh, if you've got no digital marketing budget. So let's get on with that and clear something really, really early. So there's so many marketers out there who will say free traffic, free traffic, get free visitors. There's no such thing, believe me, there's no such thing as free traffic. 
okay so to get that work you either need to invest time or money so you can be writing three to five blog posts a week just to get ranking that's investing your time and investing your effort and your eyes are going to get worse and your you will possibly get carpal tunnel because I had it a few times when I was working as a copywriter so it is an investment or you can invest money you will get quicker res results and possibly you will get someone who knows what they are doing but I understand that that's not the option for everyone so the main advantage of investing money is that you can get a really good return on investments so let me just ask you if I if you gave me a pound and I gave you five back how many times would you like to do business with me I think uh, quite a few times um, and that's our aim because then clients will stay with us and we don't have to go and go after other clients which we don't really do because they come to us but it only happens if we give them a good return on investment so it's important that you take your time to create a strategy that works for you. Uh, what I see with business owners most of the time is that they just think it's just it's unbelievable how many people are shouting that loud that you are getting confused and you are getting all the information from the wrong places and. And people will say this works, that works, this is the best way, that is the best way. And at the end of the day, you just have to ask yourself, is it going to work for me? Because if it's not going to work for you, there's no point here investing money in it. So find a strategy that works in your niche, that will work with your audience, with your market position. So if you've got zero people on your email list, no matter how much money you invest in an email marketing training, it will still take quite a lot of time to build that up that audience to a level where you send out an email and you make five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. It doesn't happen overnight. If you only have two people, you, it's impossible. It's simple. So the first thing is that you've got to invest either time or money. Uh, the second one is, is if you are familiar with business coaching, you might have read a couple of posts about this, uh, you've got to start with the end result in mind. So what I see loads of people do is, I will just do something and something will happen. Or I was told that I will have loads of money if I do this and they carry on doing it, they don't test it, they don't measure it. At the end of the day, what you need to do is, is reverse engineer your marketing. So let's say I would like to make, in the next three months, I would like to make 10,000 10, pounds. Okay, so for, for 10,000 pounds, if the average spend is 500 pounds, I need 20 customers. Now, if I, if I get 20 customers, for 20 customers, I need, let's say, 500 people to visit my landing page okay so where am i going to get the 500 people to land on my landing page so i might have let's say a thousand people visit my site but not the landing page so how do i get them to go and check out my offer this is the question so <clears throat> and obviously you can take this strategy if you've got an upsell it's easier to make more money if you've got an ebook for example that you're selling for $7.99 you can offer an upsell which will increase your return on investment you can also focus on how many people are on your list if you've got one and you can think about affiliate commissions so can I sell someone else's product that will actually benefit my market you don't have to come up with a new new product every single day you can just sell someone else it, that's actually converting well so it's really really important that you focus on the end result instead of what you're doing because otherwise you will never figure out how you get there 
I know this is this is something I go on a lot about and it's your idea client and it's because I see it all the time uh, people do actually um, shoot in the dark and they try they try really really hard to reach everyone and waste most of that time and money on reach, trying to reach everyone what i don't know why because you just want to reach people who are ready to buy or who are the most likely to buy from you so uh before the covid and before we had the, all the networking stopped uh, people used to stand up at a networking event and say i can work with anyone and guess what you can't no matter what you do, you can't work with anyone. So if you think you can do business with anyone, you're just like living in the clouds or on a different planet. First of all, they need to have a budget. A second, they need to see your value. So you've got to do your best to communicate your value with other people. Um, they also need to be in a position to make a decision. So there's no point talking to the cleaner in the company. He's got no say in what they are buying. Uh, and they've got to actually be the type of person he will make a decision. Um, also, they need to like no one trust you. So you, you will not walk up to someone on the street saying, oh, will you lend me a hundred pounds? Or are you buying this work from me? It just doesn't work like that. And, and that's, that's where social media marketing goes wrong. It's, it's got to be a two-way street. So they need to know, like, and trust you. They must have heard of you. They must have checked out your post. They might have even gotten some value from your post. So you might have helped them out or connected them with somebody that they really wanted to connect with. And, important, they must have a strong drive to succeed or to solve their problem. So, let's say for example, um, right, I've got, I'm, I'm only coming to the office, so my hair is like, most of the time it's up and no one looks at it. Let's say I've got a, a an important presentation tomorrow. I will pay attention and I will possibly buy the most expensive hair product if my hair is not in the best condition because I'm motivated to solve that problem because I, I'm conscious of how I'm going to look like on the presentation. So it's important that they need to have a strong drive and motivation. Um, also, another thing about automation so i'm never against automating your social media because you can't stay on top of everything it's just impossible especially if you've got a business to run i understand it and that we do actually offer that service we've got the white label service of a um, social pilot which is quite cool easy to manage easy to schedule uh, easy to connect, is GDPR compliant, so I'm not saying you shouldn't automate your social media and if you are on a budget you might be using Buffer, Hootsuite or Later or any other software which is fine and it will save you a lot of time but, and there's a big, there's, there's a massive but in there which, which is that it doesn't replace human interaction just like social media friends are never going to replace uh, your real friends they are never going to listen to you like someone you went to school with for four six eight years it's just not going to happen and that's the reason why uh, many people are struggling with mental health at the moment because they they just mistake uh, social media connections for friends and it's definitely not the same so you've got to make sure that you can 
connect with your audience and interact with them and let your personality come free, shine free your posts. Otherwise, it's just going to be uh, just out there, but floating in empty space. Every single piece of content you put out there should stick and it shouldn't be floating in empty space. Right, misconception again, again and again, and I hear it all the time. Uh, people expect others to buy first time they land on your profile, on their profile. It's just, could you do it? Because if, have you ever done that? So let's say you, you come across someone who is selling, let's say, interior design. Yes, go on. Oh, yeah, I like what you're doing. Can you come out? Here's the money. Give me your bank account details. Does that work like that? I don't think it does. <laughs> so if he didn't dig, why are you expecting other people to dig? And the funny thing is that people don't realize is that people want to have a relationship with you. Seriously, they do. So... The better the relationship is, the more likely they will be to buy from you. So it's important that you provide value every day, create that reciprocity and the sales will follow if you are patient. If you are pushing people, you're just pushing them away and you don't want to be doing that ever. So this is just an introduction to the philosophy of social media and what we are doing here at Elements Marketing and just an introduction to the training we are going to set up on another website which is Tuka Marketing. Uh, it's for affiliates plus people with a business who are looking to promote it. So if you're interested in finding out more about it, you can join our group, you can like our page and make sure that you are commenting below this <coughs> Post because if you are commenting below this post, I'm going to send you a link to a special gift that's going to make your social media so much easier without investing a penny. It, it, it actually does have the potential of saving you two to three hours a week, so I think he will be pretty pleased with that. So make sure you comment, uh, let me know of what you thought of the first module of the training and I will see you hopefully next week.